A Daryl Jordan never leaves home without his saxophone. The 46-year-old started playing when he was only eight. It is pretty funny to me when I still pull out my horn and I play and people go, you sound great. I say to myself, well, I ought to. I've been doing this for 38 years, you know. He's a Dallas native and a proud Red Raider who graduated from Texas Tech in 1999. I can't say enough good things about the School of Music as a whole. Absolutely wonderful educational um, experience. As a member of the Goan Band, Jordan marched across the field at Jones Stadium many times, performing halftime shows in front of thousands of fans. And he's still performing today, but the venues he's doing it in look a little different. I was going through the Atlanta airport. And Atlanta, that's a huge airport. They have musicians and they had a great guitar player who was just killing it. And I thought to myself, it's not gonna hurt if I go up. So I just kind of put my sax together and went up and started playing with him. I didn't realize what a big moment that was. So I guess I did the recording, I did it on Facebook Live. I just had somebody I never met just said, hey, won't you record this? And I guess within a couple of hours, it had like a thousand views. It all started with an idea. My wife kind of threw out the challenge of having a bucket list. I said, okay, this is it. I want to play my saxophone in all 50 states and record it. For the first time in my life, I went to Hawaii and then I come up with this bucket list. And she goes, well, you got to count Hawaii because you're already there. I'm like, nope, I'm starting from scratch. So I started, she's like, but we've already been to Hawaii. I was like, we'll have to go again. And less than two years in, he's already more than halfway to meeting his goal, making it back to Hawaii again. I recorded at Pearl Harbor for Hawaii and that was really meaningful and playing in some pretty impressive places in the Northeast. But the most fun had to be um, a tie between the dueling grounds in New Jersey where Hamilton and, and Burr dueled, and then the roof of Carnegie Hall. With the support of his family and a strong faith, Jordan's focused on finishing what he started. I'm loving just going, seeing lots of different places that I've never seen before. encourages others to challenge themselves, take risks, and live life to the fullest too. For Texas Tech Today, you know, life's not a dress rehearsal. You only get one shot at it. I'm Allison Hurth.